Yeah, I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Now, all of you that watch our videos consistently, y'all know that we are big fans of the Jews. <laughs> big fans. I love me some damn Jews, man. <laughs> A war with their own country. Yeah, I've never heard of a. Country. Bo- have you ever heard of a I'm country bomb? Have you ever heard of a country bombing their own country, bombing their own people? So well, they bombing the people they don't want to. Exactly. But a lot anyway. of people don't realize that. Yeah. That's yeah, I crazy. Know. A lot of people don't realize that. That's like, think about it. Net, 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 net. Let's Yahoo. call him Net Netanyahu. I can't say his name. Netanyahu. Yeah, <laughs> you Net- said it kind of crazy. Netanyahu, <laughs> right? He's the president of Israel, right? That's equivalent to you know whoever the president of the United States. Imagine Joe Biden dropping a bomb on Texas. <laughs> Imagine Joe, ba- Joe Biden dropping a damn bomb on Alabama because there's some perceived terrorist threats. In your country, just to paint a perspective. Well, it's just not say, perceived. Shut up on talking. They are terrorists in that. Man, can you stop cutting me off? Can I can I talk? I mean, is, is this a two man show or is yeah. this Keith Hart show? Go ahead. Go ahead, Kim. Well, shut up. Man, you know what? You just take over the show. I'm tired of fighting with you. Hey, but I tell you what, Tucker Carlson, he just exposed them Jews. I remember what I was gonna say. Man, that's what's going on in Israel. Before Israel, there's Palestine. They put the European Jews over there and called it Israel. But ever since Israel took over, they've been bombing West Bank where all the original people that used to live in Israel used to live. They since have been bombing our own citizens, their own country. Well, they don't want they to. They are know. actually bombing and killing their own children. Hey, how long are you going to kick this dead horse? No, people don't realize that. That horse dead, you kicking the shit out of it. Well, I'm going to keep on kicking it. Well, I tell you what, Tucker Carlson, the last true journalist in America, in yeah. the world probably, hmm? he just exposed them Jews. <laughs> <laughs> and I never really understand why Christians, Christian conservatives, y'all be, y'all be, y'all be on y'all's knees, <laughs> sucking in. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to Tucker. Free are Christians to practice Christianity in Israel. Do you know that evangelicals as churches are not officially recognized in Israel? Not recognized uh, by the government. And by of the Israel? way, evangelical Christianity is not officially recognized as a denomination in the state of Israel. The biggest problem Christians are facing is in East Jerusalem. They are constantly targeted by radical groups, radical Jewish groups. Let's be clear. Some churches, there was an attempt to burn them. A Christian clergy being spit at by uh, these groups, uh, they write very offensive slogans on the water, strong incitements against Christians, especially in the old city of Jerusalem. What kind of slogans, what kind of graffiti is written against Christians? A lot of it is calling for Christians, we don't want you here, you should leave. It seems that those who do these attacks are never held accountable. In fact, the heads of churches said in a statement that they feel there is a systematic attempt to empty Jerusalem of Christians. Yeah, so... They doing that to Christians. Yeah. We all know what they're doing to the Palestinians. Oh, I'm sorry. What do conservatives call them? Hamas supporters. <laughs> I knew something was up when Israel started bombing uh, mm-hmm. in, that, in their own country. They bombed the hospital. No, it wasn't Israel. It was Hamas. They did it against their own people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that should, you should really understand. A lot of people don't understand what's going on in that country. Yeah. And conservatives are like most like, of the politicians, conservatives and liberal, progressive. If you're not down with Israel, they cut all your funding. Like all these, uh, uh, the Republican Party, Democrat Party, the the Jews donate a lot of money to American politicians. They have a huge influence on our politics for yeah. the Democrats and the Republicans. It's almost like we, the United States of America and Israel. And Ukraine. But they don't put nothing into the system. They just take, take, take. We give, 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 but they never give us anything in return. They keep saying that they are our biggest ally. Well, I don't I, see it. I, they help us with a lot of pharmaceuticals. <laughs> yeah. Pharmaceuticals. I, I got a nephew. He went to uh, Jerusalem, right? Mm-hmm. Jerusalem, right? They made him wear that funny hat, that Hanukkah, <laughs> that half hat, <laughs> that half baseball hat. They made him wear that. They said, well, I'm not Jewish. He said, well, if you want to go in, in Jerusalem and look at the architecture and things like that, mm-hmm. you have to put on that half baseball cap. 
And what, you just saw called? right there on camera how they see Christians. Yeah. Now, I'm not against the Jews. I, I just don't like the bad Jews. Well, I guess those are the radical Jews. Yeah, the, the people that were spitting on the Christians, they're the radical Jews. Yeah. But I, I, we just want to make a point, and Turk is making a point, that these Jews, they give off the impression, or conservatives like to get off the impression that these people can do no wrong. Yeah, they can Those people it. are not perfect at all. They're not saints. They're not angels. Yeah. I mean, it was an eye-opening experience for me what happened with Candace Owens over at the Daily Wire. Yeah. All about the Jews. And what did she say that was anti-Semitic? Yeah. Nothing. She just brought up the question. She wanted to start a dialogue. Yeah. How much, how many of these people do you really have to kill yeah. before you stop bombing them? Yeah. Ask, ask yourself this question. You First, before you call anybody anti-Semitic, you have to understand what Semitic means. It means people of that region, a Semitic group of people. Palestinians, Muslims, Jews are Semitic people. Yeah, so when are. I criticize Jerusalem, I mean the, the, Israel, for bombing other Semitic people, that doesn't make me anti-Semitic because I'm looking out for the all Semitic people. If anybody's anti-Semitic, you would have to say it would be Israel, right? They're bombing their own citizens, their own people, and then trying to say that they're being used as shields for Hamas. And then they misrepresent and intentionally misrepresent these people as Hamas supporters. Who's really anti-Semitic when you're bombing your own country? Over 30,000 people have been killed. Children. Women. But they label us anti-Semitic. They label Canada as anti-Semitic. Or well, anybody yeah. criticize them. They're taking the same tactics out of the same playbook as the LGBTQ. Yeah, um, that we we talked about this one. Uh, he's a uh, what do you call him? There, Jewish religious person. What do you call him? I don't know. I'm not Jewish. We just talked about him. what do you I'm call Christian. him? What was it rabbis or something? I don't know. He was a preacher. Yeah, rabbi. Rabbi. Right, we did a video on him. Oh yeah, that that radical rabbi. Yeah, and um, here's a picture of him. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and that dude is radical. Yeah. And he was like celebrating when they let go Candace. Yeah. And all Candace tried to do was be an effective journalist. Yeah. Yeah. That's all she did. If you can't criticize a government for bombing and killing children indiscriminately, labeling that as war, well, come on. Well, Israel and Jews are using the same tactics used by the LGBTQ. I already said it. The same playbook. They demonize you by calling you something that you're not. Yeah. Just because you bring up a question. Yeah. You're just trying to criticize. Yeah. When you try to say, hey, kids shouldn't be able to chop off their um, penises and go through all this. Yeah. No, you're homophobic. Yeah. You criticize a Jew. Yeah. Anti-Semitic. It's yeah. the same playbook. All the, the aid, same tactics. All the aid we give them, it goes to right there, that heart of Jerusalem, Israel. That West Bank and Gaza, they ain't getting none of that funded. Well, no, it's not that people. That's the way yeah. they see it. It's not that people and... um. Yeah. Look how they treat Christians. Now you should understand why they're treating the original would, Palestinians the way they are. Yeah, I imagine mu mu much of the I'm Christians. not talking about an overall Jewish faith, you know, as an overall whole. I'm, I'm, We're talking about the Israel government. Yeah, I'm talking about the Israel government. I'm yeah. talking about Net, Netanyahu. I can't even say his name. Netanyahu. <laughs> yep. Is that how you say it? Netanyahu? It's Netanyahu. Say Yahoo That's again. Damn you just say Netan. Netan. Yahoo! <laughs> What's his name? Netanyahu, huh? Yep. Netanyahu! <laughs> <laughs> this show's over. Yep. <laughs>